everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today's video, I'm going to be using these really beautiful detailed butterfly dies. I purchased these from Spellbinders website when they were having a warehouse sale, but you can see here that it's the brand Fun Stampers Journey. I also pulled a embossing folder and it is called Garden Path. And once again, this is Spellbinders, but I thought this would pair great with the butterflies. So first things first, we're going to do some ink blending. So I'm going to bring in my cardstock here. This is an A2 size cardstock, and I'm going to bring in my mint tape. This is from scrapbook.com, just for you to know. And I'm going to go ahead and mask off the paper here. And for the other corner, I'm going to eyeball it, but try to expose, you know, around the same amount of white space. Okay, it is masked off. So I'm going to be using Tim Holtz Distress Inks today. I've got Twisted Citron, Picked Raspberry, and Peacock Feathers. So I'm just going to begin the ink blending. And let me, I think I want to start, let's do the pink, the blue, and then the green. So I'm going to come in with my blending brush here. These are just inexpensive brushes that I purchased from Amazon and they work quite well. I'm just going to brush off some of that excess here. Alrighty. And just going to layer this on the brush and, and getting that ink pushed into those bristles. And I'm going to come in with a very light hand because these are very saturated and just start the ink blending just very very light and then i can build upon the color to get the desired color that i want and you can see the color there we just did very very light so now i'm going to come in and just repeat the process with peacock feathers Okay, so once again, just kind of starting off of the paper. Okay, now that I have all three colors blended on the cardstock, what I want to do is bring in the colors a little more, uh, make them a little darker, and then really work on blending the colors together, which will also bring in additional colors. You can kind of see it here. The pink and the blue are going to form or create that purple, and then the blue in this yellowish green is going to make a darker shade of green. So I really want those extra colors to come to life. So now I'm just going to build up from here. Okay, so I think the ink blending is done. Those colors are really mixing well together now. You can see that we're working with five colors now instead of the three. Let me add just a little bit more blue up here. Well, I am going to trim the panel down. I think that that's probably good. Righty, so the ink blending is done. I love how beautiful this looks. All right, so let's put our stuff up. And very carefully remove the mint tape. How pretty is that? I love the way that looks. I love masking off and ink blending. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move the panel to the side and coming in with a spray bottle here, just spraying my glass mat and cleaning this off so it doesn't transfer onto my card base once we bring that in. All right, so now what I need to do is some die cutting. So we've got our butterflies. Let's go ahead and remove those. Sorry for that loud noise. All right, so I'm not going to use the base layer there, or the shadow layer. I'm just going to use the butterflies itself. So I want to use 
the medium and the small because the large is very large. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest up and bring in, in my embossing folder here. Let's go ahead and emboss our panel and then get the butterflies cut out. So I just want to place this and just kind of position the panel where I want it because there's so many different flowers and leaves in here. It's just personal preference on what you want to be shown. Okay, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to shift it over. And I'm just going slow so it gets a good press. And then I will bring it back for one more press. And just going slow. Let's see how this turned out. So pretty. And now you can see the details of the embossing folder. Perfect for spring. All right, so now I want to cut out the butterflies and I just thought that they should be cut out on a white cardstock. I'm not sure if these are both gonna fit. Oh, they do. Good deal. So what I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and just tape them down so nothing shifts. Okay, have those cut out and very carefully just remove, removing the dies from the paper and saving my mint tape off to the side there on my glass mat. And now I think I need a poker tool. I'm gonna bring in one of my Cricut weeding tools here. I absolutely love using this for card making. And I'm just going to poke some of these out. I was playing with this, these butterflies yesterday and it is quite hard to get the paper out. So I've got to work slow so nothing rips or gets too bent. Okay, so working on the second butterfly, if you have issues with a die, um, it's got the extra holes that you can poke through, but I kind of go at an angle so it doesn't poke straight through and that helps loosen up the middle portion of the butterfly. I need to do that a little bit more. And then what I have to do is put my weeding tool underneath and slowly just work in sections, picking up, you know, kind of what's stuck in that die. If you can see that. I've never had a die like this before. It's kind of a bummer, but I do love these butterflies very much. So this is an extra piece. It's like hard pressed in the die. And you can also use the spatula to help get those larger areas. And like I said, you just have to work slow. Last little corner here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit of labor of love. But how pretty is that butterfly? All right, so I have my two butterflies cut out. We have our panel. And now I need to cut out the sentiment. This is a scripty hello from Lawn Fawn. And I have a thanks to, and I kind of went back and forth, but I pulled the hello. And I also have this Glitzy Metallics. This is from, I believe, Joanne Fabrics. And you can do the silver. I mean, there's so many colors in here, but I want the gold. 
because I thought that that would really stand out because this is such a light panel and the butterflies are white. I thought a gold would pair nicely. So what I want to do is just go ahead and cut some of this off. Let's just align our die and cut around it just to save the cardstock. Alrighty. And I'm going to reuse some of the mint tape to tape this down and I'm going to run this through my platinum six as well. Alrighty. So let's see how this looks. I'm sorry if you hear background noise, there's people working outside. I'll do my best to reduce those sounds while I'm editing. All right, so we have all of our elements. Let's build this card. So I have an A2 size top folding card here and a landscape orientation, as you can see. And I'm going to bring in my magnets to magnetize this down. And do I want to cut the panel down? I think I do. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this stuff aside and bring in my paper trimmer. I think it'll look good if the panels cut down just a bit so we have a little margin exposed. All right, so this is measured at five and a quarter. Let's turn this around. Alrighty, I think I like how that looks. So let's move this paper trimmer aside. And I just kind of eyeball it. You know, I do different things all the time. So no specific measurement for the panel for this particular card. Alright, so now that it's trimmed down, I think I'm going to bring in my sticky thumb here. All right, coming in with my liquid glue because that sticky thumb was messing up my panel. It's never done that before. But just placing the glue all over the panel and then we'll get it stuck down. Moving quickly, just make sure that it is placed in the best spot. Okay, and what I wanna do now is I'm just gonna turn everything over and really get that pressed down. Alrighty, so let's open this back up, use our magnets, and now we just need to finish building the card. I kind of want the wings to be more open. I don't want to glue down the entire butterfly. So I'm just kind of bending the butterfly at the body. Yeah, how pretty. How pretty is that? And then let's bring in our sentiment or greeting rather. Yeah, I think something like that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and make the hello permanent. Once more, just using the liquid glue and going around this as fast as I can. Okay. Ooh, I made a mess. There is glue on the outside of that. It dries clear, but you can sometimes see the residue even though it's clear. Bringing in my stamping block. I'm just applying some pressure so that I can get it adhered. And I'm having some glue seep out. So I'm just gonna come in with my paper towel and wipe that off. Alrighty, and now just applying a little glue to the body of the butterfly. Because like I said, I want the rest propped up. And do I want it all on the card or do I kind of want it interacting off the card? Um, I think we're going to do it just like this. Part of it is off of the card. It could definitely fit on the card if you wanted it to. Just trying something different. Getting that excess glue off. That's really pressed down. And 
let's kind of see where the smaller butterfly should be. Maybe about right there. So let's add a little bit of glue. And once more, having the smaller butterfly run off the edge of the card as well. Wiping off some of the excess glue. Okay, so now the bodies are glued down and I can play with the butterfly. How cute is this? I love this card. And I like how the butterflies are, you know, kind of hanging off the card and how the wings are able to, you know, kind of stand up. And they'll still fit in an envelope because they'll, you know, they'll lay down flat, but then, you know, if you wanted to even deliver this in person, how pretty. All right, so let me pull some embellishments. I'm kind of thinking I want to add something to the butterflies. So let me look at that real quick and see. Okay, so I was playing with some embellishments and I didn't really care for the pearl right there, but I removed it and the residue is still there. So I've got to keep it there. So what I'm going to do is bring in these smaller ones and just do the same thing on the other, oh, the other butterfly. If I can get one to stick on my tool, goodness sakes. And just kind of, I don't know. It's not methodical at all. I was just seeing if I could align them along the body, but the small ones are too small for the medium and the big, the medium ones are too big for the medium. But either way, we've got a little bit of embellishments there now on the butterfly. It doesn't look bad. It does add a little something. So this is the finished card. Let me know what you think. I hope this inspires you to bring out your inks and do a little bit of ink blending as we move into the spring season. And as always, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.